Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Deanna. I am the owner of D-Series Boutique as well as the Facebook group Tumblr Tutors. Today we're going to be working on this super fun and whimsical hand-painted floral tumbler. I know that sounds a little bit intimidating, however, it's a lot simpler than you may think. I'll be using February's pop box colors. If you're unfamiliar with the pop box, it is Counterculture DIY's brand new subscription based box of exclusive pop of color paints. I'll have more information on that as well as all the products I'm using and some discount codes for you guys to enjoy all linked in the description below. Let's get into it. So first up I'm going in with Meadow. It is a really, really pretty Kelly green color and I am just making sure that I get a good bit on there. I don't want too much because I don't want it to glob up and have a bunch of streaks. I just want it to be nice and smooth and full coverage. I also want to make sure that I'm getting good coverage on that bottom edge and on the top and constantly moving my brush to make sure the paint stays wet. Next up I'm going in with Eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is a very pretty pastel green color. It's going to work perfectly as a cheek color for us. Make sure that your glitter covers the entire tumbler and if you feel like you need to do another coat, you can do so that is perfectly okay. Once all of that was dry, I went ahead and dusted off any of my excess glitter and I started mixing my epoxy. I am using 15 mLs of CC DIY's Fast Setting Epoxy. That is 7.5 mLs of Part A and 7.5 mLs of Part B. And I am just making sure that I have really good coverage over my entire tumbler. By dusting off that excess glitter, we're making sure that we have a smooth coat on the first go round. And once that epoxy is on there, I'm going to go ahead with my torch and go ahead and pop any micro bubbles that may have popped up. And now that she's all cured, we're going to go ahead and clean up our rim. Cleaning up our rim after every epoxy coat helps make it a lot easier to clean at the end and it also helps give our finished product a nice smooth rim. Now this is where the fun begins. I'm going in with a medium sized round tipped brush with the color Sunshine. It is the lighter yellow. And I'm just taking advantage of that rounded edge of our brush and I'm just putting the brush flat against the cup, pulling it towards the center of the flower. Then I'm gonna start going in and kind of giving those edges a little bit of shape. So I'm just gonna go in and curve out the edges of our lines that we just made. Then I just go back in with more sunshine and I start going around my cup, adding in flowers wherever I feel like they're gonna look the best. Due to the look that I had in mind, I thought it was best to go ahead and put them kind of in a zigzag position around the cup. And if you don't like the placement of one of your flowers or you messed up or something happened, it is okay. The beauty of chalk paint is that it comes off with water so all you have to do is put a little water on a paper towel and just wipe it off and start over and that is perfectly okay and you guys can make your flowers bigger or smaller thinner or thicker than mine i just went with a little bit more of a rounded flower because i have this whimsical design in my mind and i feel like the whimsical design needs these big rounded flowers so now once that layer is dry, I'm going back in with sunshine and I am doing another coat right on top of the flowers that we drew the first time. I'm not really focusing too much on the middles, just making sure that I'm getting those petals because I do want to start going in with the other color in the middle. So now I take a thin brush and I go in with Morning Mimosa, which is a really pretty light orange. And I start my middle section, and you can do just the middle section here if you'd like, but if you're extra like me, you're gonna start to blend the 
orange into the yellow a little bit to give the petals a little tiny bit of dimension and some more pretty color so what i did was i pulled out from the inside and then i went ahead with some of our sunshine and i kind of just went back over it um, just to kind of blend those two colors together a little bit again it is perfectly okay to just do the insides here i'm just adding a little bit more of our sunshine at this point just again to make sure that i've got full coverage and it's gonna blend really nicely with the morning mimosa because it is still wet i'm doing all of this blending on that second layer so it is able to blend easy because it is wet so now i'm going back in with morning mimosa with my thin brush and i'm just taking some and dotting a bunch of little circles into the middle of all my flowers not a perfect circle just a bunch of blobs now to fill up some of that blank space i'm going back in with morning mimosa again with my same small brush and i'm making tiny little flowers kind of in the same shape just a little bit thinner this shape kind of reminds me of a squatty gingerbread man so if you are trying to figure out how to make this shape just picture a gingerbread man that's that's how i was doing it the entire time and i'm just spacing them out the best i can just trying to fill that space trying to make them kind of even but again this is a really fun design so it doesn't have to be perfect that's what i love about these kinds of designs they're just kind of all over the place and that's what makes them fun so once all of that is dry i'm going back in with another coat of epoxy i'm using cc diy's fast set another 15 mls at seven and a half part a and seven and a half part b and making sure that i've got really good coverage once again making sure that i am getting from top to bottom i do have some flowers overlapping the top and some overlapping the bottom so i want to make sure that i've got a nice good coverage so that if i put my cup down it's not going to scratch it chalk paint scratches pretty easily so i want to make sure that it's really covered well and i hit it with my torch to pop any bubbles now we admire how pretty she is and once again we are trimming our rim you guys already know the drill we are setting ourselves up for success at the end and we're gonna have a nice pretty smooth rim so now i'm going in with my handy dandy posca pen it is the pc1m bullet shaped in white i got this one at my local craft store but i'll go ahead and link it down below to somewhere where you can find it online that way you know exactly what you're looking for if you do choose to go into store so now I'm just doing some kind of a frilly outline around my orange, making some fun little dots and lines on the inside. And then I'm gonna start going around and kind of carving out where my petals are. I'm not focusing on having perfect straight lines that line up right against the paint. I'm just kind of going wherever my hand takes me and if it goes a little bit over that's okay too it is perfectly fine this is a fun design there's no real rules and i'm making this little w shaped squiggle on my petals just to replicate some fun folds then i really have fun with these little flowers they are not even anywhere close to the actual outline of the flower I just put a circle in the middle and then I kind of just like quickly try to replicate the shape. It just doesn't even match up all the way, but it's fun. So we're going with it. And then I'm back at it again with my frills. And I think that the best way to describe this is like making a fluffy cloud. And then on the inside, I kind of just make my lines any kind of way. <laughs> And then for the outside, again, I'm just kind of drawing what the petal shape could be. If you're able to draw a 
nice and perfect line and nice and straight um that would be amazing and perfect and beautiful but i'll tell you right now i could never these are not surgeon hands okay i was not i could not hold my hand straight to save my life so this is truly the perfect design for somebody like me who wants that really pretty look but just uh, just can't get there okay um the messy not necessarily messy but the fun i keep saying fun but whimsical look is way more up my alley and of course never a blank space i'm going in with some little polka dots and again i'm just trying to make them as spaced out and as even as possible without being too concerned about it just going around the whole cup and it's coming out so pretty so now for our last coat of epoxy i'm going in with artist resin this time and i'm going in with another 15 mls that is seven and a half part a seven and a half part b and once again i am making sure that i have a really nice full coverage top to bottom making sure that i cover up all of that beautiful handiwork that we just did with our paint pen you'll see me start to tap the top edge that's just to make sure that i'm getting my epoxy all the way up top and around that edge now i hit it with my torch one last time to pop any micro bubbles that may have popped up and she is done look how cute she came out i love her i can buy myself flowers oh she's so cute thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions or comments go ahead and drop them down below be sure to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on facebook instagram and tiktok at d boutique also come hang out with us in my facebook group for makers tumblr tutors link in the description below see you guys next time